MLW stands for Math Literacy Worker. At YPP, we are MLWs who teach elementary and middle schoolers math. My experience has been great. I think it has obviously taught me a lot of patience, but also responsibility. I think dealing with kids, you have to understand that they might not always be as engaged and you have to work like more to make them engaged and interested in the concepts that you're teaching. My general experience, I feel like I approach math differently. Um, I look at it differently and I have younger siblings, so being an MOW, I have learned how to explain even like, math problems to them a lot easier. YPP has helped me understand that math isn't just a brick wall that I'm never going to be able to understand. It's something that one day I'll be able to do and understand it and even maybe teach other younger people. A lot of people struggle with math, but YPP shows you another way of approaching math. So we make it fun. We make it so they can learn and they can have fun with it. School is really curriculum wise, whereas YPP is more like games and fun and like learning from your peers. One thing I think is important to know about the Young People's Project is that it was started by children in Mississippi. They were eighth graders at the time and they had a problem which was that their math learning uh, wasn't working for them. They were students in the algebra project and they decided to use their experiences in the algebra project to start something of their own. And that's what became the Young People's Project. So the Young People's Project emerged from a rich and historical legacy that stems from the civil rights movement. It is an opportunity for young people across the country to go out into communities and connect, forge relationships, and teach math. Math literacy workers aren't necessarily young people who find themselves to be gifted and talented in mathematics, but they're people who want to help and who receive like genuine, joyful, soul level impact from being able to be of service and to develop as a leader in the community. We're part of a larger network that connects young people to historically underserved communities and begin to really rethink and help reshape the way that they see themselves, the way that they see their community, and the way that they see their educational opportunities. So I was a part of the very first cohort of math literacy workers in Cambridge, Massachusetts. A cohort of middle school students who were at the forefront of creating change with math literacy in Cambridge. Cambridge, Massachusetts is known as the Mecca for education. It's home to world-class universities like MIT and Harvard. And we sit in a region that has an abundance of educational opportunities. Cambridge's knowledge economy has plenty of opportunities and well-paying jobs. Almost 50% of the jobs require much more than proficiency in literacy, math, and science. In 2018, 30% of the innovation jobs employed Asians, but only 5% of the share of jobs went to black working adults. So while we have a booming economy, there is clearly a problem here. During the summer, we have an opportunity to work with the math literacy workers for an extended period of time. So it's over six weeks and 20 hours per week. It's really a developmental experience for them. Today, we started with icebreakers. And then after we played the games, we started with our engineering lab design challenges. And so basically for that, we created a tunnel where we put a marble through it and it had to land in a cup. And then after that, we did a flagway lab where we learn flagway concepts that the MLWs are going to be later teaching in their outreach groups. Flagway is a game where we train our MLWs to play at the end of summer and they use their math concepts and the skills that they've learned over summer into the game. I was really interested in what this Flagway program was because we were hearing wonderful things about it from the students. We were seeing amazing data results from students that were being compared to their peer group in their own uh, school community and wondering what was this flag way that was really creating this impact that was so positive that I wanted to then replicate it in other schools. We want to grow and expand our work 
to more schools, more communities. I think YPP structures help. YPP creates spaces and provides opportunities for young people to help each other. I think that that is one of the most powerful ways to learn by helping somebody else learn. And that's what I'm excited about for the future.